If you've wanted to figure out how people link multiple Printify products to one Etsy listing, then this is the video for you. I'm about to show you three different methods to do this, and I'll explain all the pros and cons so you can decide based on your workflow, which is the best for you. So to begin with all three methods, you do need to have both Printify and Etsy, and you need to have them hooked up together before you do any of the next steps. So for all three strategies as well, what you're gonna need to do is have a listing that's clear so that this can be a template. And you can do this by either just starting a new one or grabbing one of your old Printify listings, which I like to do, discard. I'm gonna go to one of my drafts and I'm going to just create a copy of one of my items or one of your draft items from Printify just to begin with because they fill out a lot of the listing for you already and then I'm just gonna call this template for shirt sweatshirt and whatever multiple products of Printify that I plan to include in this listing then in your photos you're not gonna upload your mock-ups but as a template you can upload your photo cards things like your size guides things like your thank you cards any other cards that are with every one of your Etsy listings I would upload right here in the template. I'd fill out your description with your template and just have a note for you to remind yourself to just change the top of description based on each design that you create. And the big thing that we're going to start to change is we want to start changing or adding in variations. So we're going to set up our different variations here based on what types of products we want to sell with Printify. First, we're going to pick our colors. It is best if you can use the same colors among the different types of products that you're using it just makes setup a little bit easier but there is a way to turn things off if certain sizes or certain products don't have a certain color which I'll show you but the real magic comes when it comes to sizes we're going to edit all our sizes here and we're actually going to remove all of these and now we're going to start adding in the different products that we sell along with the size so we have a sweatshirt small, a sweatshirt, medium, a sweatshirt, large, sweatshirt, extra large. Then we have a t-shirt, small, t-shirt, medium, t-shirt, large, t-shirt, extra large. And then you can go ahead and add in any other products that you're planning to sell in this listing. If you have a toddler version, you can go and add in the toddler version. If you plan to sell a hoodie, add in a hoodie. But for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna show the example with a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. And now I'm gonna hit done. And one thing you need to make sure is that all three of these are turned on. We want prices to vary for each, quantities to vary for each, and SKUs to vary for each. Then you can go ahead and add in your different pricing for these, and you can also add in your bulk quantity. I'm just gonna update quantity to the max 999 because I don't run out with these on Printify. If you did want to start, turn off a certain size and color, for example, say for navy, there are actually natural, say there's no natural sweatshirt, then I can just go and turn off all the natural sweatshirts, for example. And actually we don't have a natural sweatshirt, so I'm gonna turn off all the natural sweatshirts so that that's not an option. And now when we take a look at our preview, so our preview down here, now you're gonna see your colors and you're going to see the different sizes you have. And you can see that now customers can select both a sweatshirt or a t-shirt and they also have their sizes in here. But at this point, now we are separating into three options on how to fulfill these or how to automate this so that when you actually get an order it automatically goes to Printify to fulfill. Every time you make one of these listings what you're gonna do is just duplicate the template so that you have all of your photos, all of your variations, pricing and everything all together so you can just keep reusing that. But the first option here is to not actually add in the Printify product yet and wait until you get a sale. And what's going to happen when you get a sale is on Printify, this actually isn't gonna show up under Printify orders. It's actually gonna show up under other orders, in which case you can click on this and then you can select a product and you can select the right t-shirt sweatshirt color size that your customer had put in. And then Printify also does give you the option to automatically import orders with this product variant, meaning if someone places the exact same order, the exact same size, color, and everything, then it knows to come back to this original listing. The problem is that only applies to the exact 
variant down to the side. So you might have one linked and a bunch that are not linked. This is the fastest way to get multiple listings set up like this. But there is a downside. The number one downside is the fact that your orders are not gonna be automated. Every time you get an order, you have to go into Printify. You have to select the right product. You have to make sure that you are selecting the right color, size, and variant that they wanted, leaving lots of room for mistakes on your end. And as well, just a lot of your time. I have days where I get up to 200 orders and having to go through 200 orders and doing this is going to take me a long time. So I like as much of my store to be automated. The second problem with this and where I find is the easiest to make mistakes is if someone places an order in your store and one variant is not linked, this will actually not go to your other orders. And that one product that was linked will automatically go to Printify to print. And it is up to you to go through all of your Etsy orders and make sure you catch any order that has two products where one's not linked and you have to manually go add it in. Again, it's not gonna show up in other orders and I've had issues with this before where I forgot to link something and someone messaged me saying they only got half of their order because I was not aware that the second order was not linked. So it does cause room for problems and you have to just be very on top of your orders with this method. Now we have the second option where these are actually linked to Printify ahead of time so that the process to fulfill them is automated. So you're gonna build both your sweatshirt and your t-shirt within Printify and what other variants you plan to sell. But again, for this, we're doing a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. So I'm gonna build those both within Printify. Then I'm going to go into each one. So we have the sweatshirt right here. I've set it up for the colors that I want to sell. And then coming down, what I want to do is actually just go right to my skews over here. So it's this little chart here. And if you click in each one, so we know we're selling the smalls. So for the small navy, I'm going to copy the skew here. Then I'm going to carefully have to place these into the right variant. So that was a navy small sweatshirt. So I'm going to look for navy over here, sweatshirt small. I'm going to paste that in and then I'm going to go back to Printify. I'm going to click on medium to open the different colors. Then I'm going to grab the navy medium and then go back to my template and add that in. This does go quicker than you think guys, I promise. The less colors you have, the faster it's going to go as well. And one thing you need to do as well for each of these is if you want to hide it in your store, you do need to publish these on Printify. So this one's already published, but if you don't want to pay the 20 cents on listing fees for this to show up and you want to just go to your Etsy giraffes, just hit hide in store under product visibility and then publish. And now all of your boxes that are live will be filled out with the correct SKU. Be very careful when you're picking your ones because it's easy to kind of get mixed up here. And so this is the major difference downside is the time consumption that this one might take, but it saves you time later down the line because you're not having to go fulfill all of your orders manually on Printify. So it depends what kind of fits your horizons here or your kind of processes that you want when you are coming to your print on demand store. So your two options, but I'm about to show you the best new option to do this. And it's how you can automate this setup right here that actually brings in your SKUs. So for option number three, we're gonna go back to square one and duplicate our listing. We never want to add in the SKUs to our template because we want our template to be what we can use from scratch every time. Within our template, we're gonna set everything up for our new design like before. And in Printify, similar to the last step, we need to have set up our t-shirt version, our sweatshirt version, our whatever version that we plan to incorporate into this listing. And we're gonna use the tool called Simply Listed, which is a new tool that both will help you automate creating all of your mockups and help you automate your SKU linking. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to SKU linking. We're going to choose our products. We're going to grab our Printify products that match the variations that we added into our Etsy listing. So for this one, I am doing my sweatshirt and my t-shirt, and then I'm going to hit continue. Your duplicated Etsy listing needs to be live. And once it is, it's going to show up in the second step under Etsy listing. You can see the name down here. So this was my matching design example. I set this live. Then I'm going to click on this and I'm going to hit continue. And from my variations, they're actually picking this up from the name of the variation. So you know how I call things t-shirt small, t-shirt 
large, t-shirt, extra large, sweatshirt, small, sweatshirt, medium. They're picking up the last part of that to try to find the size and the beginning half of it to find the matching product that you have from Printify. So grabbing onto sweatshirt, that's my sweatshirt. Grabbing my t-shirt, that is my t-shirt. And I'm going to hit continue. And within literally, I think that was like a second, I have this successful, your SKUs are successfully linked to Etsy. So let's go back into Etsy. And now scrolling down, you can see when I reopened this, all of my SKUs from Printify were automatically added into my Etsy listing. The downsides to this is currently it is best suited for apparel. And another downside is you can't have two adult shirt versions. So you can't have a mom adult and a dad adult. You can't have two toddlers. Instead, it's best if you have one type of design and then you have the kid size, adult size, sweatshirt version, hoodie version. They need to be different types of products from Printify for this to link correctly. The other downside is this is paid. So for unlimited SKU linking, you don't need the pro. You can just buy the monthly $15 per month, or you can buy this for an annual package for $150. But the good news is this also comes with your mock-up creation. So that's actually probably what I use simply listed more for even is for doing mock-ups. So that comes up with a hundred listings per month for mock-ups, which is quite a bit. And then the unlimited SKU linking. So if you have the budget to put in and invest a little bit into your store, I would recommend doing the simply listed version. It leaves a lot less room for errors, but speeds up the listing process and still lets you automate your orders. So you are not in shambles when you get too many orders and you can spend that time celebrating instead. This setup works so well if you plan to sell matching family shirts, for example, or if you just like to offer your customer many different variations in one listing. Personally, I keep my listings separated. So I have a t-shirt listing and a sweatshirt listing, but I know so many people prefer to have it all in one listing. So I get this question once at least a week on how to link multiple products within Etsy. So I hope this helps you guys. And if you did, if you can leave a like and subscribe, it would help me so much. Thank you guys. And I will see you next week.